Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a very informative tutorial on the basics of After Effects Interchange in the new Lightwave 11.5. So let's just jump right into it and get started. The After Effects Interchange supports cameras, lights, and nulls um, going between each package. So for instance, I could just select this camera here and let's go to the top view by hitting the 2 key. And we could just go to frame 20 and simply move it, frame 40, and frame 60, and hit the 4 key to go back into perspective view. And we could even go into the properties of the camera by hitting the P key. And we're going to adjust the zoom over the length of those 60 frames. So click the E to open up the graph editor. E stands for envelope. And we're going to click on this little key down here, and then click on 60. And let's just zoom it out to about uh, 15 millimeters, so 0 0.015. And this is just to show that our interchange will also respect the fact that there is a zoom factor on the camera. And now you can see that over the course of 60 frames, we are moving and also zooming out. So let's go to the I.O. tab. And first, what you want to do is click on Settings and specify where the After Effects.exe path is located, and then hit Continue. And then simply click Send to AE. Now, when After Effects first launches, you're not going to see a composition right away, but you will see a default composition under the Project window. So we could double click on that. You'll see that our comp size is 640 by 480, which is exactly what the default camera is set to inside of Lightwave. And right now, we're seeing the active camera view. So what we could do is switch to a custom view. And using the C key, we can alternate between uh, different modes. And you can see that there's our camera. And you can control click on the time view over here, hold the control key down, and alternate between frames and uh, seconds and minutes. So you can see that up to 60 frames, we have the same exact movement, and everything looks good. Now what we could also do is go back into Layout, and we could select the light, and over the course of 60 frames, we could just move it and hit the Y key to rotate, and also rotate it, and hit the P key to bring up the properties for that light. And let's change the color to a warmer one, and let's also change the light to a spotlight. So with that light selected, simply click Send to AE, and boom, there's our light. So very easy. And also, if you double click on the light, you'll see that the color is exactly the same, and it's also a spotlight. So let's just add in a solid here, and make it pure white. And let's make it 3D. And if you don't have that 3D icon there, you can hit F4 to alternate between different views. And already you can see that that spotlight is shining on the solid. So let's go back into layout and show how nulls work by going to the items tab and clicking on add null. Hit OK. And go back to the IO tab and simply click send to AE again. And right there is our null. All right, so now let's show how it works vice versa going from After Effects to Lightwave. So those are the very basics. I'm going to open up a project that I made uh, just for the sake of this tutorial. Here we go. All right, so nothing special. Um, you know, just basic After Effects text, and I tracked this with the new tracker in Adobe After Effects CS6. So let's just recreate this real quick. And I could actually just start a new project. Don't save. And I'm going to load in that footage of the beautiful Burbank Mountains and drop that into a new comp. And under effects and presets, I'm just going to start typing in 3D camera tracker. And click and drag that onto the footage. Now this is going to take um, a few minutes, depending on your system and how long the footage is, to analyze. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and I'll come back in after it finishes analyzing. Okay, so the camera tracker did everything that it was supposed to do, and the different 
colors on these tracking points don't uh, represent anything. Um, the green ones aren't good tracks and the red ones aren't bad tracks. It's just they're all different colors as a way to um, determine them apart from one another. So you can see that scrubbing through the footage seems like we got a really nice track. Now what I want to do is zoom into an area where I want to create the text. Uh, for instance, right here you can see that there's a nice little shadow um, in between these three points that creates kind of a bullseye um, connecting a little triangle between these three uh, tracking points. We can right click on that and go to create text and camera. Let me zoom out a bit, select the text layer, hit S to scale and scale it down. And we can double click on that and just type in light wave 11.5 and maybe scale it down some more. And now if I scrub through my footage, you can see that's locked on there pretty nicely. Now what I want to do before I send this data back into Lightwave is kind of bring everything closer to this scene. Bring uh, the camera closer and um, also establish some, uh, some nulls as to where the tracking points were. So I have an area um, in Lightwave where I know I can place my objects exactly where those tracking points were at. So what we can do is go back to the footage, select the camera tracker, and hover over one of the tracking points, right click and choose create null. And just do it for a couple of these. And possibly this one over here. And now what we want to do is create another null by going to layer, new, null object. And let's make that a 3D object. And I want to select those three nulls that we created and also the text and 3D camera tracker and parent that to the null object. Now let's go into the top view and you'll see why I want to do this. See how everything is really far away from our composition? I want to move it a lot closer than that. So what we can do is bring up the title action safe which gives us this little plus sign right in the center of the composition and I want to try and get these tracking points here, which are now nulls, to be pretty close to, to that area. So we can select the null one and hit the S key for scale and scale it down. And you'll see everything moving closer. Move it to about right there. This will also depend on your footage. And now select the null and just move it closer. You see the nulls here. Just line those up. Um, as close as you can to the plus sign. Okay, that looks good. And now let's go into our front view and see if those nulls are lined up by selecting them. Oh, those look pretty good. Alright, so we're going to go back to our active camera and scrub through it. Everything is still good. Okay, so now what we want to do is send this camera into Lightwave. And that's very easy to do. I'm just going to select it, go to File, Export, Send Selected Layer to Lightwave 3D. And you'll see that we have camera and now 3D tracker camera. Uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going to get rid of this camera by hitting the minus key. And I'm also going to get rid of this first null that we created. And if we hit the six key, we can go into this camera and let's see how many frames we have in After Effects. So 125, back into layout. Let's type in 125. See that we now have the same exact movement that we did on top of the roof filming the mountains. What I also want to do is go into the image editor and load in the sequence of that footage. It's just a JPEG sequence. And then hit Control F5 to open up the effects window go to compositing and under background image choose that. Let's go back into the image editor and instead of still we're going to choose sequence. Now if I go into the camera right there is our footage. Okay so now let's bring in just one of those nulls and place them on the mountain to see how well it sticks. We're gonna go back in After Effects, select one of the nulls, go to File, Export, 
send selected layer to light wave and there you go and what that helps us do is if we tap the 4 key to go into the perspective view we can now place objects exactly at that position so for example go to items load in an object and I'm just gonna go into the front view and find that null which is right there so you see that the fact that we can bring in null so easily allows us to place the objects um, you know in that same position without trying to figure it out uh, where it would be in 3d space so that's basically it and all you have to do at this point is uh, light the group logo um, you know match the sunlight and render it out with a an alpha I recommend PNG 32 files and bring it to After Effects and it'll line up perfectly you know do some post-processing to it but again this is the After Effects interchange between Lightwave 11.5 and After Effects CS6 so play around with it post some of your work on YouTube and I hope this was an informational tutorial for you alright thanks